I'm Ted Berg for SNY.TV, and this episode of Know Your Enemy, presented by Pepsi Max, looks at the struggling Phillies who come to City Field for a three-game set. Calling into the studio is Bill Baer from the Phillies blog, CrashBurnAlley.com. Bill, how are you? I'm doing great. How about yourself? I'm doing well. I could barely contain my excitement when I had to say struggling Phillies, I'm sorry to say. But let's start with the positive note. Chase Utley is back, and Ryan Howard appears to be on his way. What do they mean to the Phillies offense? Well, Chase Utley is the big thing here. Uh, as you've certainly known over the years, seeing so many Mets and Phillies games, uh, he does it all. He's a five-tool player. He can, uh, he's one of the best defensive second basemen in the game. Uh, he hits for average, he hits for power, and he's one of the most efficient base stealers. Uh, in a typical season, he's a seven-and-a-half, eight-win player, which is uh, among the top, like a top-five MVP candidate. So getting him back is huge. And then Ryan Howard, of course, the Phillies have – been a hit or miss offensively, so getting his bat back in the lineup is going to be a huge help whenever that, whenever that occurs. The flip side of things for the Phillies is, is pretty obvious. They've fallen way back in the standings, and there's even some talk of a pending fire sale. Uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, they already traded Jim Tomey to the Orioles and then uh, Chad Qualls to the Yankees, but those are kind of minor. You might see Cole Hamels, a uh, pending free agent, uh, trade it before the, the trading deadline. Shane Victorino as well. So uh, two of the players that I guess uh, most identified with the Phillies might be gone by July 31st. And right. It's going to be a sea change for the Phillies. Yeah, it sounds like like a possible dismantling of the the recent Phillies empire. Yeah, and it's uh, Matt Gilb, who's a beat writer for the for the Phillies, as he likes to say, it's not so much a rebuilding proce- uh, process as a, a just a quick reloading uh, because the Phillies have such a massive payroll, they can just go get a couple more free agents and try and compete for 2013. Let's talk about the pitchers in this series, starting with tonight's starter, Vance Worley, who has been great for the Phillies really since he's come up. That's very true. And he's known for getting called strike threes. That's his forte. He had the second most of those last year behind uh, Bartolo Colon, and he started this year behind David Price and uh, teammate Cliff Lee. And you could say that he's arguably been the Phillies' most consistent starter this year. So he's probably going to be the Mets' uh, biggest challenge in this series. Tomorrow's starter, Cliff Lee, got off to a weird start. He was pitching well but not winning any games. And then in June, he just really started uh, not only not winning games but pitching poorly as well. Right, and I think his his struggles have been overblown by Phillies fans, but that's not to say he hasn't been uh, a little bit worse than we would have expected. And uh, he's had trouble with men on base, and uh, his strikeouts are down a little bit. He's walking more guys. So he's not the ace that we saw last year and the year before, uh, but he's still uh, one of the better pitchers in Major League Baseball, that's for sure. For that money, you got to pitch to the score, though, Bill. Oh, yeah, you got to pitch to the score. Uh, let's talk about Cole Hamels. His Thursday starter, another great season for him. Obviously overshadowed a little bit by his pending free agency and now some trade talk, but what are we going to see from him on the field? Well, when you think of Cole Hamels, you think of the changeup, and he leads uh, Major League Baseball in strikeouts on the changeup. It's because it's, it's the best changeup in baseball, uh, no holds barred. Uh, he's striking as many guys out as he was last year. He's not walking that many. He should be a Cy Young candidate at the end of the season, and and the Mets will have their hands full with him. And I know there's been a lot of turnover in the Philly bullpen. What have you seen from them lately? Well, it depends on whether Charlie Manuel is using them properly or not. I've been harping on uh, his use of Jonathan Papelbon uh, all year. He hasn't really been using him in the most important situations. So Jonathan Papelbon has been good, but you just haven't seen him that much. And also because the, the Phillies haven't had uh, too many leads to give to him. But the rest of the bullpen has just been a disaster. Uh, they've used, I believe, 15 different relievers uh, so far this year, and a lot of them are young guys, and they simply haven't been getting the job done. Bill, thanks so much. Thank you. Remember, for all the latest Mets coverage, be sure to check in at MetsBlog.com, TedQuarters.net, and SNY.TV.